So I saw this Facebook reel and it was this girl talking about how her mom had sat down with her and had a conversation way back in the day when she was in middle school and she was giving her the sex talk. And during the talk, for whatever reason, she brought up the fact that she didn't want her daughter to ever to feel like she owed her something. She knew her daughter hadn't chosen to be brought onto the earth and that it she'd considered it a gift to be her mom. Um, and I'm paraphrasing, of course, there's a lot more to her video, but I wanted to dive into the word choice there because so often I think we make choices in our lives based on why, what we think we have to do, right? And every once in a while, I like to remind myself that everything that I do, I do because I choose to. I do everything that I do because I choose to. That includes getting up and going to work in the morning. That includes showing up for family functions. That includes um, doing things for my wife. That includes getting my oil changed in my car and so many other things. And, you know, I think it's really easy to say, well, yeah, but like you can't not do those things, right? Well, you can. You can not do those things. And maybe you don't like the consequences of not doing them. But nonetheless, if you are choosing to do so because you don't like the consequences of not doing them, you are still choosing to do so. And while on an everyday scale, thinking about going to get your oil changed may not feel all that big or monumental when you realize that it's a choice, a lot of little things like that are. What I mean by that is, if you think about the life that you're living, okay, and you're having a really bad day, Every once in a while for me to think about the fact that I'm living this life because I choose to helps to empower me. Now, hearing somebody else say that can also feel really triggering because you may not like the life that you're living. You may not enjoy it at all. But I want you to think about the choices that you make that give you this life because, you know, there are people in this world who choose to do drugs. They choose to not be parents to their kids. And I'm not judging anybody's choices here because who am I to judge somebody else's choices? But you really do have all those choices. And we have more choices today than we've ever had, especially as women. So it feels really empowering to me personally to recognize that I do have choices and that everything about my life is the way it is because I have made choices and I can decide to make a different choice at any time at any moment during my life and live a completely different life. So every day that I wake up and live this life, I live it because I'm choosing to. And sometimes I don't like what that means that I have to do or I can't do, but it still feels really good to know that I have the opportunity if I want to choose something else. So I was having a conversation with somebody a while back about this kind of thing. And she was just telling me all these reasons. Oh God, I almost knocked that over. She was telling me all these reasons why she couldn't make a different choice. All these reasons why she couldn't make a different choice. And, and while all of her reasons were very valid, I, I brought up and I said, you know, this other person has a whole life. They have a whole life and they have all these choices and they have you know, a whole life that they will continue to live regardless of what the choice is that you make. Do you think that that life is going to stop if you make a different choice? No, it's absolutely not going to stop. It's going to keep going. So you making this choice may make things easier for you. They may make things easier for another person. But you are choosing your life right now based on other people. And if that's what you want your life to be, then that's what it'll be. But it is not the fault of the other person that you are choosing this for your life. Because you are choosing it. And if you chose something else, their life would go on. Now that's a little bit of an easier situation than when you think about people with kids. But the fact of the matter is, every day that you wake up, and I don't, I don't have full-time children, but the fact is, is that every day that you wake up and you choose to take care of those kids, not only are you are you choosing to take care of your kids, which is the right thing to do, but you are making a difference in that person's life. But you don't have to do that. That is a choice that you make every single day. That is a decision that you make every single day and it creates the life that you live. And all of the little decisions with regard to how you choose to be a parent 
create the life that you live because there are some parents who travel without their kids there are some parents who don't there are some parents who stay home and take care of their kids there are some people, parents that go in and work and they go to daycare you get to make all of these little choices even if the choice seems so obvious to you that it doesn't feel like a choice it still is it still is a decision. You are still making a decision every day to raise your children or to go to your job or to clean your house or to get your oil changed or to put gas in your car or to be faithful to your partner or to go to church if you're religious. You are still making those choices even if they feel so obvious that they don't feel like choices. And for me, when I'm having a hard day and I don't like the way things are going, Sometimes it really empowers me to know that, yeah, I might not like things right now, but I can make the decision to stop this anytime I want. And I think it plays a little bit into that story with the woman when she was talking about her mom because she was having a sex talk. And it's like, as women, so often we will do things because we think we owe something to somebody. And this mother is telling her daughter, you don't even owe me and I brought you into this world. I brought you into this world and you don't owe me. So you don't owe that guy for buying you dinner. If you don't owe your mother for bringing you into the world, then you don't owe that guy for buying you dinner. And you don't owe that boss for giving you a job. And you don't owe that coworker for picking up your work when you weren't there on vacation last week. And you don't owe that friend who happened to buy you dinner last week or listen to you cry. You don't owe anybody. Now, you get to decide what the right thing is to do in those situations. You get to decide what your moral compass tells you to do and then decide whether or not you're going to do it. But the fact of the matter is, everything you do is a choice, everything. Even if you feel like it's not a choice because it's so obvious. So. I guess today, all I want to know is, what are the choices that you make that feel so obvious to you that they don't feel like choices, but maybe you just realize that they are?